Welcome to the weatherlink.com basics video. Weatherlink.com is where you go to view more detailed sensor data collected from your Enviro Monitor network and to take your mobilize experience one step further. In this session, we will review your bulletin page, how to create custom data tables and charts, export data, and set alarms with email and text message notifications. But first, let's start with some basic navigation, then take a look at the My Account settings. From weatherlink.com, scroll down and access EnviroMonitor in the lower right hand of the screen. After logging in, you arrive at your bulletin page. In the upper right corner of your browser, you're able to toggle on and off the menu panel. With the menu panel on, you will see three icons below your name and photo. By default, you begin on the EnviroMonitor node icon in the center. This is where you want to be in order to review sensor data from the EnviroMonitor systems that you have access to. Let's click the profile icon to enter the My Account page. With our menu panel on, you can see your options for managing your account. Under Account Settings, you have your account information. Here you can change your photo, change your name, address, and update your picture. Under Unit Measurements, you can set the unit of measures for your devices and sensors. Simply change Fahrenheit to Celsius, feet to meters, and save. In display formats, you can select how you want to see the date, the time, number format for comma and decimal place, and your display resolution. Toggling over the question mark, you can see some more information on how the display resolution feature works. You can also select your email language. Let's exit. We are now back at the bulletin. Across the top panel, you can keep track of where you are on the site and navigate to other sections like chart, data, map, and the mobilized views that you had created on your mobilized device. The bulletin displays the current conditions from your sensors. On the bulletin, you can toggle between the tile view and report view by selecting the appropriate icon in the upper left. While viewing the report, you'll also have the ability to print your current conditions. Back at the tile view, let's review how to customize your bulletin. You can resize and reposition tiles simply by dragging and dropping. You can expand the forecast to see some more information. You can choose which tiles to display from the drop down boxes on your menu panel, or you can remove tiles simply by clicking the X and closing your tile. You can clear all tiles from the menu bar and select a handful and update, or you can select all to see all of your current conditions on your bulletin page. You can switch to the bulletin page of other EnviroMonitor systems by selecting that system from the drop-down box near the menu panel. Please note that you only have the ability to edit the bulletin for systems that you own as shown under My Devices. You will only have view privileges for systems that have been shared with you. Let's move on to the Chart tab. EnviroMonitor gives you a powerful charting tool that allows you to chart multiple data sets together with the flexibility to change access settings and graph types. With the power to analyze the relationships between different data sets, you can see how a decision to change one condition may impact another. On the landing strip chart, we have multiple data sets charted with a separate y-axis for each. We have three temperature probes, three depths from a soil moisture probe, and rain. Let's add humidity. We can start by expanding the weather station menu in the menu panel, selecting humidity, and clicking update. 
you can see the line for humidity has been added to the chart. We can remove it in the same manner. Uncheck and update. Similar to the bulletin, you can use the drop down box to switch to a different system and create charts for that system as well. Here we are looking at the weather station chart with a start date of April 16th and a span of one week. I can zoom on the chart by dragging and selecting an area, which will allow me to see some more detail. Additionally, I can change the scale on the soil moisture chart to provide even greater detail. Let's move on to the data tab. The data tab allows us to select sensor data from any of the systems that we have access to. By selecting a system from the drop-down box and the individual sensors that we want to get the capture the data for. We can select a start date and a time horizon. And once the data is run, you can export to any email account. Moving on to the map tab. The map is an easy way to see where your systems are located by region. The color of the map pins are determined by the current temperature at each location, as shown in the temperature bar across the top of the map. On the map button, you can choose to toggle on and off terrain, as well as satellite view and labels. You can select a system and see specific information of the weather station, temperature, humidity, wind, and barometer. You can jump to the bulletin page by clicking bulletin. When you return to the map page, it defaults back to the current settings. Now let's move on to the Mobilize page. The Mobilize tab is where you are able to review each of the views that you created on your Mobilize app. There's the frost report, crop report, weather report, and irrigation report. First, let's look at the frost report. On the left-hand panel, we can see current temperature and forecast low. You can also see the duration of the frost outlook for four hours on Saturday. For purpose of this demonstration, I set the early frost warning at a 50 degree threshold and the frost threshold at 45 degrees. You can see the current data to the left of the dash line and the forecast temperature to the right of the dash line. And you can see on 429, we are forecasted to drop below the frost threshold for a few hours. Moving on to the crop report, you can see your grown degree day progress and targets as of the date. We can look at your settings in the right hand panel for the crop report that were set on your Mobilize app. Moving on to the weather report, you can see all of your current conditions. The temperature chart shows actual temperature to the left of the dash line and forecast temperature to the right of the dash line. You can also select your rain chart to see your daily rain accumulations and your month to day totals. You can see the month to day total resets at the first of every month. Let's move on to the irrigation report. The irrigation chart will show us our current status at each depth on our soil moisture probe, our soil temperature, and ET and expected rainfall for the next seven days. And the sum of all levels are shown on the total soil water content chart. Finally, let's review how to set alarms. Do so by entering your account settings. From this device info page, you can also change names, edit your locations, and see some basic information as far as when the system was installed and the subscription plan and when the subscription ends. The device settings page is where you would change your device settings to properly calibrate your device for altitude, for barometric pressure and wind, and to set the direction that your anemometer is pointing. Under the alarms, you're able to set alarm conditions for the sensors connected to the gateway. 
You can control how you're notified by these conditions in the Notifications section. You can set alarms for the Davis Instruments solar radiation, the Grow Weather 24 hour 6825C, or the Davis Instruments barometer. Expanding under Cost Organics, we can see we have nodes that can have specific alarms set there as well. Under this node, we can set the alarm conditions for our decagon, a leaf wetness sensor, the aerometer watermark, or a temperature probe. Finally, for this node with soil moisture probes, you have the ability to set multiple alarms. You can set alarms for full point, refill point, onset of stress, and high and low temperature. These alarms allow you the flexibility to set that at each depth on the probe. In order to set the alarms, you need to go back to the parent system, and we can see our notifications. Under notifications, you're able to set a daily summary email that will be sent for all system alarms to each of the following addresses and the time for that daily summary to be sent. Email notifications can be set for any system alarm at the time the alarm occurs. And text notifications will deliver an email in the form of a text message directly to your phone. Thank you for joining us on this introduction to WeatherLink. EnviroMonitor is the flexible, reliable, and affordable field monitoring solution to help you make every acre count. Thank you.